Go ahead, Barry, whenever you're ready. Welcome back, everybody. This is Barry and Eric. Eric's on the camera tonight, but we're going to walk you through the store and show you what the uh, upcoming uh, fear of the crime bill has done to the store here, how much our inventory is down, and so on and so forth. So uh, we're starting out right here. If you want a mini revolver or a Derringer, you're in luck. We got plenty of those. Nobody wants these right now. We got North American. We got Bond Derringers. Stepping on down to this other counter, we got plenty of 1911s. Of course, they're not high cap. That's why nobody wants one right now. Uh, the panic over the uh, high cap weapons and stuff. Uh, we've got plenty of 1911s left. Uh, if you want a single action like Granddaddy, we got plenty of those. They are, of course, not high cap guns. But very cool nonetheless. But very cool nonetheless. Now, got some cap and ball stuff too, people, if you guys are interested in cap and ball revolvers. All now, right. getting, getting down to business, Eric is going to scan the Wall of Liberty over here, and it's getting very scarce. All right, you ready? Uh -huh. Here we go. I mean, we've actually, you know, we've still got some guns left. Um, few things but you can see that we've definitely uh, sold out of a lot of different models so Barry why don't we talk a little bit about what we have left well we're down to about five AR 15s left we've got a uh, two AK 74s we've got another AK over here that uh, Eric and Ray did in a conversion this is a 308 conversion that Eric and Ray did nice mag pull Pretty cool uh, comp. Fab Defense stock on it. Oh yeah. Show them the uh, one that's set up on the Magpul furniture. Oh yeah. So we have a few, you know, Sega bills left in stock. Uh, but you know, of course, this gun ban talk has really left us a little bit on the slim end of things. Well, the thing about it, though, Eric, people are saying that, you know, hey, this is great for the gun business. Well, it doesn't do you any good if you can't get other guns to sell. That's right. Um, uh, right now, as we speak, Ray is at the Ellett Brothers show trying to find out what the gun makers are going to do about all this stuff, if anything. But uh, resupply is going to be very, very slim. And we're completely out of AR lowers, uh, stripped or complete. I mean, you see we have a few random AR uppers, but nothing in a 223. Everybody's been snatching up all the 223. Right. Down to a little bit of 556 five, ammo left. I mean, again, not a ton of stuff. This is our entire inventory of 556 five, ammunition. Entire inventory. Yeah, we went from, I think, about 12,000 rounds in stock to this. Well, yeah, we probably had more than that, but this is, <laughs> this is it. We don't have any mag pull mags, no P mags. We don't have any, uh, we've got a few AK mags left, but... Uh, we sold 500 P mags two weeks ago in one day, and people just made a run on it. We sold eight lowers, we sold four complete lowers in one day. It all hit on the first day, and then it kind of tapered off a little bit. But people are still pouring in here buying guns. Oh yeah, whatever they can get. Yeah, well we're down down to slim pickings, people. But we just want to let you know we do have some things left. Um, all this fear buying has definitely cleaned us out. We're hoping that we're going to resupply, but we don't know when. Uh, Barry, why don't we show them the boomstick wall? Yes, uh, from previous gun tours, you will notice that the boomstick wall is half empty. Normally, we have two layers of shotguns here. Now we're down to this, and all this is empty. The problem with it is people are not able to resupply. Some of the distributors are saying they're not going to ship anything until June. That's five months from now. So the panic is all over. We get subscribers calling from all over the country. I had people calling today from Connecticut, Illinois, all over the country. They say the same thing. People are grabbing guns as fast as they can get them. And we've had visitors also, Barry. Yes, we have. Uh, they're grabbing guns as fast as they can get them, ammunition, high-cap mags. Now, as we speak, uh, tomorrow the NRA is meeting with Joe Biden at the White House to hash some of this stuff out. I'm hoping the NRA will not give an inch. Now, they, they claim they're not going to, but I, I'm afraid that they're, they're gearing us up for an executive order. On the news a while ago, it said that uh, President Obama may intervene with executive powers to control guns. Now, he can do that. And I think tomorrow when the NRA hash it out with Joe Biden, they're going to say, well, uh, you know, if you're not going to compromise with us, we'll just get President Obama to do an order right now. 
or whatever he needs to do. But he is going to intervene, and they're warming you up for that right now on the news. So be prepared, folks. I wish everybody had got prepared weeks ago when Eric and I did the, uh, the first video on this. Yep, and you'll see a link to that video in the description box and in an annotation if you guys haven't seen it about our prediction about a possible assault weapons ban that it came true. Okay, and we see we do have some used guns in stock. So stock overall is not too bad. I mean, we do have some guns for sale. Uh, we do have some good uh, inventory left uh, that's still out here. But of course, you can see that just the overall gist of the store. I mean, for instance, our lazy Susans in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the of the room here. <laughs> empty. We got one empty lazy Susan over there. So you can see there's several holes on all the racks of where you know things are being sold. And uh, people, we're really digging deep on the inventory. I mean, this is this is it. This is all we have. Well, people are also uh, reloading supply sales are way up. However, resupply is non-existent. You can't get what you order. The distributors don't have it. That's right. And there's several guns that we can't get. Uh, Mini 14s, 1022s. Forget about that. Can't get lower receivers. No ARs. No, no ARs, AKs. No. Nothing evil and black. You're not going to get it. Not even an SKS. Barry, tell them about the uh, SKS as the YouTuber called about earlier. A YouTuber a while ago called from Wisconsin and said SKSs are on the shelf for $8.99. Now they're not. He didn't say they were selling them, but that's what they want for them. Uh, we we're selling it. We got one SKS left for $2.99. And it's a Norenko like he was describing up where he is. All right. But uh, it's, it's, it's hitting all over the country, folks. You're going to have to get ready. Uh, I don't know what's going to come down with all this, but uh, I do predict that they are going to bring back at least the Clinton crime bill. We appreciate everybody who's come in and shown support for the videos, and we, we appreciate people, people coming from out of state. But right now, folks, please don't call because we're not shipping anything out of state right now. Uh, we got to save it for the local. Uh, market around here we got to have something to sell and everybody I talked to today that wanted to buy a gun from out of state they were very polite about it they didn't get mad at me they just you know I told them the situation that we're in here we're in a dire situation we can't get resupplied we don't know when we're going to get any product in so we're having to kind of take care of the locals and uh, so on and so forth but to show you support you can call 770-968-4949 that's the company phone number here and show your support and give us some encouragement and we all encourage y'all to keep going and keep your head high uh just keep your chin up and we're going to see what happens tomorrow in washington that's right and people um also look we do have more random things going in the pipeline in terms of gunsmithing videos reloading all of those sorts of things we do have more in the pipeline bear with us there we've been very very busy lately as you all can probably imagine so uh look we appreciate your uh, support and uh, thank you guys for watching, and please keep watching, and we got more in the pipeline.